Ohio, the place of covered bridges. This one behind me was built in 1895 called the Christman Covered Bridge. It's really cool. It's, it looks like it's been restored recently and there's little pamphlets inside that you can learn about um, all the covered bridges all over Preble County as well as all over the state, which has over 125 of them. So it's pretty neat. You can either walk or drive through the covered bridge, but be aware if you're driving through, it's only one lane, so make sure that you uh, make room for the person that's coming through. Now off to the next bridge here in Eaton. So this one behind me is not exactly covered, but it's still technically a covered bridge. It is a St. Clair bridge, built in 1887 and known for its durability. This is all original, they even still have the plaques from when they first built it all those years ago. Pretty crazy stuff. Um, you can drive through this one as well. Um, it's just a really cool crossing over a creek here, right in downtown Eaton. So this one isn't exactly as accessible as the other ones that we've seen, but you can still walk across it. But this is the Roberts Bridge. Of all the bridges in Ohio that are covered, this is the oldest one still standing. And it's actually the only one that's the double barrel um, layout like what this is. And it's actually only one of six in the entire nation. So this is really awesome. It's right outside of downtown Eaton. Um, but it's so cool. They covered, they went across the seven mile creek here. And it's actually like a little park. They have like a little reservoir over there and some ducks that you saw in the footage before. So pretty crazy stuff. Um, definitely recommend if you come here to come check out this bridge. It's a lot of really cool history. They actually have two plaques to give you more information about it as well. So it's really fun to read up on. Where's your next, Moles? Um, I'm not sure. I think another bridge or downtown. So the reason why we're covering covered bridges in this video is because they're actually considered an endangered species. Back over a century and a half ago, they had over 12,000 of them all over the United States. But as the automobile started being used more, the beauty of crossing through a bridge in a horse and buggy wasn't really needed anymore. So people just started building standard bridges, which kind of made these bridges obsolete. So a lot of people would tear them down because they were wasting money to upkeep and things like that. So it's really awesome to cut for these and they're honestly one of the things that if you think of a nice quaint midwestern back road you really get in mind a covered bridge and things like that going over a little creek or river so it's really awesome to come here and eat and experience these for ourselves and we recommend that you do as well
are in front of the Pride of Preble County, their courthouse, and it is beautiful. You can see they have some marble in there. The um, Latin writing on the top as well is really well kept. Um, the courthouse itself actually has a 2,000 square foot skylight in it as well. I mean, it uh, was supposed to be insanely gorgeous inside there. And um, wow, I mean, for a small town, this is one of the most beautiful courthouses I've ever seen. Um, it's just so awesome. And it was actually um, the cornerstone of Eaton here, which is actually named after William Eaton, General William Eaton. Um, he was a Revolutionary War hero as well. So the whole town is named after him. Um, just really cool history here. Downtown Eaton, there is a ton of outdoor seating, like this one behind me by the courthouse. You can have a picnic, eat some lunch, um, work out here, and I really value that as a town because you can just get outside, enjoy these flowers, and enjoy nature. Right behind me here is the Van Osdell and Donahue house. So what's really cool is that this has been used for a long time. One of the town pioneers built his house here. But what's really awesome as well is that when he was doing a campaign for presidency, William Henry Harrison came to this very town and stayed in this very house while he was getting ready to give a speech. Um, pretty awesome. He was actually America's Hoosier president, but if you know anything about him, he didn't last too long. But also what's really cool is a home to Mrs. Wagner's Colonial Kitchen, which was a nationally recognized restaurant. So pretty awesome stuff just in this tiny little house. This building right behind me is here in Eaton, Ohio, but it resembles a lot of the buildings down in South Carolina in Charleston during the historic district. So it's really cool to see something of South Carolina here. It's really awesome. Eaton is such an amazing small town. If you guys are driving anywhere near it, we definitely recommend that you come through and check it out. Anything between the gorgeous courthouse to the quaint shops to the amazing, beautiful, historic covered bridges, it has something to see for everybody. The thing that we didn't get to see today that we wish we could, right outside of town they have Fort St. Clair. It is a state park that they have um, an actual fort from the Revolutionary War and you can go and walk around. They have hikes and trails for jogging and a bunch of really cool stuff. So check that out as well. If you come here but we are going to move on to our next small town and that's where we will see you next time bye guys welcome to eaton ohio the place where there's tons of purple Ugh. town we definitely recommend you come and check out the tour <laughs>